I don't use any of the Adobe products, not even the most popular one, Photoshop. You know the reason Adobe products are really, really expensive. Plus, recently they made few changes in their terms of use agreement, which made many people angry. I don't think we need to talk about this. If you know, you know. If you don't, then you may want to do some Google search. You know what I use as a Photoshop alternative? I use this program called Krita. This is a free and open source program and it works really well for me. And you can see, I do almost everything in this software. You know, I make videos, so mostly I use this for making thumbnails and all that. So you can see my previous work here. Yeah, it, it, it works, okay? But let's be honest here. This isn't actually a true alternative to Photoshop. I mean, Photoshop is actually really good, plus really popular product used by millions, billions. This free and open source program cannot compete in professional level. That's what I'm trying to say here. For me, this free and open source program works great. But again, as I said, free and open source are not always good for professional work. So, you know, there is this really popular software or really popular alternative to Photoshop called Affinity Photo. Right now, this thing is completely free for six months. They are giving a six months free trial, plus they have 50% off sale going on, which will actually going to end in 15 August. So if you want a professional Photoshop alternative, then this is the one, Affinity Photo. They even have a Adobe Illustrator uh, uh, alternative called Affinity Designer, okay? They also have Affinity Publisher. They, are, they have three products that compete with Adobe products. So in this video, we are going to try out the Affinity Photo. I want to read some of these lines. Impressively fast and smooth. No subscription needed. Yes, this software is just one-time payment software and it's really cheap. Right now it's 50% off, which means it's like $30, $35. Really cheap compared to Adobe. And I like this line. All the tools you need without the bloat. As you know, you can't install Adobe products without installing Adobe Creative Cloud app, which comes with many, like thousands of services, which runs in background all the time. To be honest, Adobe products are full of bloat. Okay, that's that's enough talk. Let's download the Ad Affinity Photo and we're gonna get the six months trial. Gonna have to create a account. And here we have the download links for all the Affinity products. And we need Affinity Photo. That's all we need. And here it is, 180 days trial available. Thank you. That is equal to six months, just in case if you don't know. <laughs> and look at that. This looks like uh, Photoshop actually. And this feels lightweight. They are not lying when they say this is lightweight. Let's create a new document for our YouTube thumbnail. It actually looks a lot like Photoshop. Okay. Everything actually looks a lot like Photoshop. <laughs> Even the uh, Krita, right? So uh, we have the tools to the left, almost every tool, I guess. Now let's create a thumbnail, actually. <laughs> so for the thumbnail, we need logo of the Affinity Photo, all right? And we're gonna paste it right here. Ooh, look, it's, it's a huge, huge file. Now, I don't know how the transform works. Okay, Control T doesn't work. Oh, okay, I figured it out, <laughs> but uh, we did something wrong here. We need to create a new layer. Now we're gonna paste that in here. Hopefully this will work. Oh yeah, yeah, it worked, it worked. Okay, now this image is too big. So I don't think we need to hold shift in here. Okay, there is definitely a learning curve, so you have to learn it. I need to find something else for the background. Yeah, definitely need to learn this software from Strat. It works, looks like Photoshop, but many things actually works differently. I'm struggling here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling. Oh, I finally found it, had to do a little bit of Google search. I was looking for layer effects. <laughs> okay. We have to click in here. Finally, <laughs> we found something. And there is our shadow. 
it it isn't visible that much because the opacity you know is set to 50 okay i can i can see it okay this works just like photoshop look at that now we can see it okay that's all we need and maybe outer glow we're gonna change this to normal radius yeah look at that that's that's perfect all right i'm doing it <laughs> okay this actually works pretty well just for this demo okay that's good that's good i don't really like this red color is there any way to change it i mean i can simply apply the gradient here yeah that looks good uh let's change the color of the gradient uh no blue blue and white pink uh let's see yeah, that looks good actually i like it it matches with the logo <laughs> okay look at this this already looks professional just with the one simple gradient <laughs> look at me okay now we need arrow okay we're gonna put that arrow there to transform i simply click on v and it will bring the move tool here and we can simply transform look at that and we need to add some text it's free okay we're gonna have to resize that all right oh i hold the shift so you don't have to hold shift and i want to change the font how do i do that okay when you have text selected you can actually change the font from here this one fredoka i don't know if that's the way you say it but I like this font somehow and I'm gonna go with the uh, semi bold medium now the thing is that we need to change the position of this arrow okay move tool where you at uh, we can uh, flip this we just right click and flip this I guess yeah transform horizontal yeah that will do that will do now we just do like that <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this thing actually feels really good. It is way faster than Krita. I mean, I use Krita, but it's free and open source. For me, it works, but this thing is smooth. Okay, I might buy this one day. And one more thing, since I'm saying good things about this software, uh, this video isn't sponsored. So this thing is free right now. And this thing is the only true professional level uh, Photoshop alternative. So I just wanted to try this and here I am. I'm trying this and I'm somehow satisfied. <laughs> okay. Somehow. I don't know how. But it looks good. Look at that. That's one design. Now let's change the color of our arrow. Let's go with the color and maybe make it reddish yeah this red is good now let's apply the shadow we're gonna go with the normal and radius and that looks good or maybe we can also apply the outer glow uh we don't need outer glow but this looks good so we're gonna apply it actually oh, why am i <laughs> showing you guys in like so tiny uh, this is how I do it actually all the time when I'm making thumbnails. I make it tiny and then apply the effects to see if it is visible or too much or something, you know, like this. We're gonna go save as. Oh, we can't save as. We have to export, I think. Yeah, we have to export PNG. All right. I know this is really simple and basic, but yeah, I mean, I like this. This actually feels really good and professional. There is a bit learning curve, but I don't think it's a big deal. You have six months of time to actually try this. Even if you buy this, it's only like $35 right now. It's actually really, really, really cheap compared to Photoshop. So uh, if you're looking for professional, you know, a Photoshop alternative, I think this is good. Yeah, this is actually good. And you know what, actually? Let me add something in here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. Look at that. I think this looks 
Good. I don't know. Um, am I adding too many elements to the thumbnail? Oh, okay. There, there is this 3D effect. That looks good. That looks good. Uh-huh. I like this. And I'm going to keep it, I guess. Mm. You can also multi-select. Okay. You can't do this in Krita. You have to create a group and then you can move and multi-select and do whatever you want. I'm not going to lie. I, I actually like this. All right. I, now I just need to learn this. And I have one month actually to learn this because after one month, the 50% off <laughs> thingy, it will be gone and I'll have to pay for the full price. I don't know if that was necessary, but you know, I'll use this as a second thumbnail. Some people will see this and some will see the first one. So let's export this. Not gonna lie, I like this. Now I need to learn this software before 15 August, I have one month left. Uh, if I learn and if I like the software, uh, I might buy this. Yeah, I'm gonna actually make almost all the thumbnails now on on the Affinity Photo. And that way, you know, I'll learn even more and more. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated actually if I buy this, okay? I mean, still again, as I said, if you're looking for a uh, Adobe Photoshop alternative, for professional work you should try this out i think this is actually really good and you have six months to decide whether you want to keep it or delete it <laughs> okay and yeah that's all i have to say uh, let me know your thoughts what do you think about this and uh, yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.